Hello and welcome back to a new player review. Uh, kind of disappointing day. We we're expecting a lot to a lot of different things to drop today. Uh, none of it did. Instead, EA dropped the Premier League SPC, which was kind of overdue. I would say that in the La Liga SPC. Uh, a lot of players uh, like me had stocked these players um, waiting for the SPC to drop. I bought the Premier League uh, more like a month ago, uh, and it cost me about a hundred k to buy most of the players except the uh, top teams where I just had a few of them in the club. I didn't know how many they would ask for every team, so I didn't buy those. I bought a few of them now to complete it. Uh, very, very disappointed about the player choices. I didn't expect I would get these kind of players for uh, like the top league, uh, which is a uh, league like Premier League. Um, very, very disappointed at the first glance that I saw the players that they chose. But anyways, I already had the players. Uh, I was going to complete it anyways. Um, it was besides the point, but I was really expecting for a better choice uh, be, um, because of Premier League having the depth of players that uh, it has. Uh, we were expecting, uh, you know, two very good choices at least. Uh, not God tier, but at least at this stage in the game, uh, something that is going to be usable in um, like a tier one team or something like that and i believe these are i don't know second to third class picks but anyways we've completed it we had the players uh, it cost me maybe 30 40k to buy some additional players uh, right now uh, so uh, we completed the spc uh, let's have an in-depth look at the players and see uh, what we're gonna pick all right so we have mayor i believe from uh, crystal palace and Foyth from spurs um, Mayer, I believe, has a 78 uh, card, 79, something like that, gold rare. Uh, so this should be five or six uh, ratings boost. Uh, so he's a center midfielder, 173, so five, eight, medium, medium, a four star, four star. So on the face, it looks good. And the face stats uh, look uh, like a very nice, well-rounded, CM like a box to box midfielder. So let's check out his details. Uh, his pace is 81 overall with 90 acceleration, 73 sprint speed. That's a huge gap right there. Uh, that's a big, big no. Uh, I've said it again that if there is a, a differential there, it's always nice for the acceleration to be over the sprint speed so your player starts running as soon as possible. Um, but uh, this is a big gap. I mean, your player will start running but then his pace will fall immediately because he doesn't have that speed to keep up. Uh, his passing is okay. It's actually very good with 87 vision, 80 crossing, 91 short pass, 81 long pass, and 80 curve. So this is a very nice well-rounded stats with uh, some key areas that are very nicely boosted. Uh, his dribbling is his highest stat here with um, uh, very nice agility at 94, 93 balance, 8 reactions, 86 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 82 composure. So this is very nice and uh, every key element here is very good. His defending is okay at 76 overall with 81 interceptions, 83 defensive awareness, 77 stand tackle and 72 slide tackle. Um, it's not a CDM per se, but maybe with a, a shadow or, or a sentinel or something like that you can maybe boost it uh, to a point where this could be a cdm with uh, in a two cdm role i don't know how much you can count on this guy to be a sole cdm um, even if you in, like boosted by 10 every uh, stat here i don't think he will be a guy that you can depend on as a sole cdm uh, his physical is very nice as well with uh, 95 stamina and 99 aggressions are the best stats. Low on strength, but that 99 aggression I think makes up with. So this is a good stat there. It looks like a good card, but some stats are really weirdly increased. So uh, I don't know about this card. Uh, so let's check out Foyth. Foyth has a 74 silver or 73 silver. So this is a huge boost for him, like 20 ratings. Um, he's a 187, so he's like 6'2", 6'3", very tall medium high work rates which is really nice three star three star so uh, on his face his stats he looks very good um, let's check out the details pace 82 overall but this time you have 80 acceleration 83 spin speed for a center back uh, it's really good at this point in the game at least it's like sort of a minimum that you would need from your center back uh, no shooting 
uh, passing with 69 vision, 76 crossing, 87 short pass, 78 long pass, and 72 curve. So he has uh, some good passing stats where, where you need it from your center back uh, to make some key quick passes outside the box. Uh, his dribbling is very nice for a center back with 82 agility, 78 composure, uh, 78 balance, excuse me, uh, 88, 84 reactions, 85 ball control, 80 dribbling, but very low composure at 64, which is sort of what's uh, dragging down his overall rating. Um, 64 composure, I'm not sure how will that affect him as a center back in game, uh, but nonetheless, it's a low stat there, but the rest of him and his dribbling stats are very nice. Uh, his defending is uh, m like medium uh, for a center back, not that great um, for this stage in the game. Uh, 83 overall with 83 interceptions, 83 heading, 81 defensive awareness, 85 standing tackle, 81 slide, 81 slide tackle. It's not that great for a center back at this stage in the game. And his physicals is 82 jumping, pairing that with his uh, height I think is very nice. Uh, 78 stamina, which is great. 82 strength and 76 aggression. Uh, another uh, pair of stats there that are great. Uh, so what what is most important here is probably his defending and his pace. His pace, I would say, is all right because you can also increase it with your anchor and your shadow. Uh, defending, I don't know how much we will increase it with a shadow or an anchor. Um, but looking at these two cards, uh, Mayor and Foyth, I think probably Foyth is the card that you could probably get uh, more use out of it. Uh, it was the th same thing I was talking about Sanchez, uh, the Footmas card, uh, we did the player review a few days ago, that the Premier League doesn't have that many options when it comes to good center backs. Uh, uh, you take out Van Dyke, which is the number one and probably the only meta one in there. There's that Scream of Hamendi that has a good card. Uh, then that it was that Footmas Sanchez, and I don't know if there are any other usable ones. So this card might find a use in some players' teams, but uh, I suspect that the SPC is going to be very, very overpriced. Uh, probably thinking maybe 300k, over 300k. So at that price, none of these players are worth it. But uh, for the sake of it, for those that maybe had the cards in your club or just want to complete them because you need that Premier League center back, um, something like that. I think as a CM, there are so many options in the Premier League that you can get uh, way better uh, players in this position. So I think we're going to go with Foyt, Foyth sorry, and um, test this guy out. All right, so uh, I had a look at the camp styles. Uh, between uh, an anchor and a shadow, um, with a shadow, obviously you'll gain more pace. Uh, it will go into the 90s. Um, but uh, in the defensive, uh, I wanted to go with the anchor because the anchor gives him plus 10 in standing tackle and plus 5 in interceptions which in the shadow is the other way around. It will be plus 10 in interceptions and plus five in standing tackle. So I chose the plus five in the standing tackle, um, which I think is most important, which is where most of your tackles are. Uh, and you also get a bit in physical. Uh, the pace, uh, we get plus five in acceleration, plus five in sprint speed. So we go to 85 and 88, which I think should be all right. And uh, like I said, so his defensive stats go to interceptions 88, heading accuracy to uh, 93, defensive awareness 91, standing tackle 95, and slide tackle 91. And his physical, uh, you get plus 10 and jumping to 92, and uh, strength to 87, and aggression to 86. So I think um, an anchor is a more well-rounded stat for this guy, and it suits him more. Uh, so I applied that, we went into this team. The good thing is about that Fusma Sanchez that I reviewed on, and I said that it was probably a good card to make for 40, 50K. Uh, that this guy gets a strong link here so right away i can put this guy in i can use that fit, this foot mr here which i really like and i didn't have a chance to really put him in a starting 11 and uh we can we are good to go everybody except this uh, danilo will be on uh, seven cam but we can get him to eight cam with the manager so uh it's pretty easy to link especially with the sanchez uh, if you already done him you get that strong link um and the rest of the team stays as, as it is so to put him in, I took out uh, Baby Rio and uh, Murillo, which are my two regular uh, center backs. So we'll go into two games of uh, foot champions um, and play probably play the same formation because it doesn't matter since he's a center back. 
but we'll play a couple of games and see how this uh, center back really plays in the game. If he is uh, maybe better than we actually think this card is. All right, so here we go with our first game. We're playing a Bundesliga team with those players of the month, uh, Nabry and Lewandowski. Um, a very nice um, Bundesliga team. So let's uh, have a look at uh, this Voith and if this card is actually any better than we can actually see from his stats. There we go. Good speed there. Go. Good speed, good interception there. Very fast to react. Voice, yes, good interception. Good interception twice. Very nice reactions. All right, so first half is over. I gotta say I'm liking this voice. It's not a, actually that bad of a card. It's played pretty good for the first half. Um, there we go. Five on five passes, five on five dribbles. No tackles. I'm sure, well, maybe those were interceptions, so they don't really count as tackles. But he made some very good interceptions. Uh, in the first half, a very nice positioning, very good speed. I'm, I'm kind of liking him. So let's go into the second half and uh, see some more of this uh, Foyth. Right, score a goal. Foyth with another good tackle. Very nice, good combination there, nice goal. Oh, what a tackle there, wow. Very nice interception there by Foyth, actually. Come on, Foyth, get him. Get him, yes, good push there. Nice, off the ball. Very good by Foyth, very nice, I really like it. as well because why not yes there we go and we also score with Foyth I think he deserved this goal because he's been excellent in uh, defense I think he almost got a touch there but I'm not quite sure but Sanchez is there like a rock Yes. Good. All right, so game done, number one. Um, like I said, I'm very impressed by uh, Foyth. Um, I wasn't expecting him to be that good. As you can see, his match rating is 8.8, .8, the highest from all defenders. Um, he has five on five passes, five on five dribbles. And two on four tackles, but I mean, he made more interceptions than that. Uh, we'll see in the clips that you probably saw already, but he was very clinical in his defending. He stopped maybe one or two goals with uh, very accurate interceptions or, you know, pushing the attacker off the ball. So I'm very, uh, very pleasantly surprised by this fourth so far. Uh, let's get into another um, game and uh, see if fourth is really this good. All right, so here we go with our second team. We went from a Bundesliga to a Prem team. Uh, so here we have uh, Player of the Month, uh, Vardy. We have that league, uh, Trossard. Um, and a very nice team with um, Salah there, very fast uh, attacker. So a few fast attackers there. Let's see if Foyth is uh, in good as well in this game and can keep up with uh, uh, these fast attackers with us there. Wow, what a goal. What a control, what a goal. I thought he was gonna volley that, but this one is even uh, nicer. Get him, boys. Just enough to push them off the uh, off balance there, but it's always good from your defender. 
Yeah, his voice. Get him. No. Yes. Wow. Wow. Tackle. All right. So another good half. Uh, excellent half by Foyth uh, in this game. Uh, again, I really like him. Not that much work as uh, the first game, but uh, the two, three occasions that uh, he had work to do, uh, he was excellent, I think. Um, so we have two and three passes, two and two dribbles and one of three tackles. I don't know whether these failed tackles because I'm not seeing them. Maybe uh, when I'm editing this video, I probably am gonna see him, but what I'm seeing right now is Foyth pretty much not missing anything. Okay, so let's go into the second half. Got a goal by Benzema. Come on, Foyth. has here. Not a lot of skills to work with, but still can do something. Pass it, shoot it. Wow, very nice. Foyth there uh, even uh, doing some business in attack. All right, so probably getting a rage quit. Maybe. Um, let's see. No, yes, probably. Probably not then. It was just, oh, there we go. So we get a rage quit on our second game. Uh, Foyth with sort of combined with a couple others the highest rating again as a defender um he has three on four passes three on three dribbles and one on three tackles one uh i think another excellent performance by foyth i actually am surprised by this card from what i saw in the stats and what i uh actually get to play in game so let's go back and uh have a look at this card so, uh, Juan Foyth, I believe it's his name, Juan Foyth, a very good card, actually, I was pleasantly surprised by the way he played in the game, uh, very good pace, excellent uh, agility, balance, uh, his defensive awareness, his off the ball movement, uh, good tracking back, covering the lanes, um, his interceptions were fantastic, I really liked him, uh, he had some crucial interceptions from the side of the players uh, coming from behind the players where they were taking the shots uh, pushing them off the ball um, doing one tackle uh, the ball bouncing back to the attacker then doing a second tackle a really really good card I really really enjoyed it but the question in this card is if is he worth the amount of coins that you have to spend to get this card now saying that I'm not actually sure how much it will cost. I will suspect anywhere between 250 to 300,000, might be even more than that. Obviously, the earlier you do this SPC, the cheaper it is. As time goes by, the cards will um, increase in price, so this will make it a more expensive SPC. So let's say a 300K. If it costs you 300K, obviously, this card is not worth to do for 300K. Now you get back uh, 20 packs. I have 21 uh, because of one objective. So you get back 20 packs, but these are bad packs. EA have nerfed the packs as well. They've nerfed the players, they nerfed the packs. It's like they don't want to complete these SPCs. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but you get some packs back, which are not very good. As you can see, small primes, a few rare golds and a mega for the big uh, teams that you complete. The rest are Electrum, uh, premium primes, mixed and all that kind of crappy packs. So you can't expect too much from these packs. I would suspect from 20 packs to realistically, if in these rare golds you get like some good consumables maybe, and maybe some good players here and there, and you sell them all anywhere between 50 to 100, um, 150, um, if you're pushing it a bit, uh, let's say 50 to 100. So if you hit the top like 100K and this costs 300, so it will uh, lower the price to 200K, I still think it's an expensive card to make. Now, for me, it cost me, like I said, less than 100K, uh, but I'll say 100K to buy most of the players uh, over a month ago, except uh, some players from the top teams. Uh, today I spend, I, I believe I started at 284, so I spent around another 60K. So that would bring the total price at around 160K that I spent for this SBC. Uh, so with these 20 packs, if I can hit half that price, uh, like 80K back, from these packs and it will cost me 80k then i think it's an excellent price to pay for this center back um, it's a fantastic price actually so if your um, cost by buying the players completing it and the return that you can get um, comes anywhere near that i would say 100 maybe even 150k will be an okay price to 
pay for this center back. Uh, anything over that I think is uh, not worth it and you probably shouldn't complete this uh, SPC and just uh, wait it out for you know the next uh, batch of uh, special players or the next promo uh, that EA might uh, release and we might get another special center back from the Prem in there that might be better or might be cheaper and that way you can have an alternative to this guy. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.